Hey guys, it's Rugged Elf. How's everybody doing today? So, I've received some comments on my videos with my duplications. Um, some people have a little bit of problems. I told them that I would try to reach out and do a video so I could see if I could, you know, help make it a little more clear for people. So, let's, let's see what we can do for them. And then here we go. So, got my portable refiners. I got my medium refiner. Right now, I want to show medium refiner. And I'll try to show you how to set it all up exactly. So what you want to do is we're going to go back in here. And we're going to find out what we want to duplicate. Okay. So I want to do larval cores because people were asking me about nanites. So if I come over in here, you need about 17, 18 slots free to so duplicate your nanites in. So you get about five in each of these. And when you refine them down to nanites, um, you need about 17 of them to get the full load inside of the refiner. So start out. So we'll come up here and we'll put our larval cores in there. Alright, and then we're going to go into our build mode and our edit mode. So we want to pick a refiner up. We want the back of this refiner actually to be perpendicular with the other refiner. I put these light floor lights in and it really helps me to help line them up because it's hard to see when they got them shadows so you want that little yellow bar I will show you once I get it set up and put them over in this place we want to move this one over and make sure we got our little perpendicular thingy going So you want that little metal bar hitting that cone right in the middle. So, you come out of here, if you do it right, and sometimes I don't. So you have to readjust them outside refiners to make sure that they're going to line up. So you see I got the lower cores in both the outside ones. So, here's what I want to do. Let's do this. Alright, so, get rid of that. So we're going to come in here. So you want those little, the little yellow guards on the back of these outside refiners touching that chrome core in the middle. If you look at the base, the base is sitting just like a hair back from the middle one. Okay? So, but that's what you're looking for is right... Ooh, didn't know I could ever go into the refiner. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, but yeah, that little steel cone in the middle, you want those yellow guards to be touching that. That is exactly what you're looking for. Now, you can set them up, and you'll go into this one, and it won't be there. Okay? So, you go in your build mode, you move it, and you try to adjust it to get them closer. I like the lights on the floor, it helps me line it up better. So, you know, and we come in and we start our process. And we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our cores and we'll have to check ourselves once in a while. But I'll probably speed this up for you a little bit so we can get through this quick. about there so what I want to show you is if you bring this in when you're doing your section if you move your cursor over top of the larval core a little bit when you go in 
it'll still be over here for you okay so that way you're not having to go from the middle all the way back over again and I think I got too many already so I don't know if it's going to I got enough room for two all right so that's cool so I'm gonna do that's all done so I basically need this many so I'm gonna take this one so in case I have more things to do I'll have some more larva cores all right so once you get the larva cores done you'll go back into your build mode you want to do you move your devices and you're going to take them apart and then you're going to do that and you're going to take that come back in here and you want to get into this medium refiner and you're going to start refining Get this single out of my way. Oh, and I'll show you how many cores I have left after we get this done. So we're almost finished here. And okay. So now you get your 4100 in there. That's as most as you're going to be able to get in there. So when you get done, you got your 17, 18 of them. 17 of them, I think, that was in there. So you got your stack. So. I didn't quite do it completely right that time, but you get the idea. You can refine your nanites any way you want. Now, people use idle cores. Some people use tainted metal. It's all the same. To me, I feel that the um, I feel that the larval cores are much quicker to refine. You know, you can refine the tainted metal but to me it seems like it takes a long time to do so after you got that you verify you got your nanites in there so you will go back into build mode select mode and move so you say you got all your stuff lined up actually it looks good for him here Now when you go to do this, if you don't see those nanites or anything that you're putting in here, the thing with the um, medium refiner, you can duplicate two things at one time. So let's see how we did. So got them in that one. We got them in that one. So. Not like I need nanites, but I just want to show you guys what's going on. And go back in, come back. If you move that cursor around a little bit, it's going to stay right on the nanites. So you don't have to travel from the middle of the screen all the way over to the nanites. So you just got to move it a little bit, keeps it on there. 
when you pop in. So let me give you a show. Uh, one point, almost 1.7 million nanites I have. So that's why I say I don't really need nanites, but I just want to show you guys how this works. All right. So while you were playing the game. As long as you don't, I mean, you can save it, but as long as you're not, you know, reload an order save or leave the game, you can come back here and do this. I'm not sure about traveling a whole lot, but maybe we'll test, do a test on that. But with these little refiners, okay, we'll come in here and you can put carbon in here. So when you break these refiners down, the outside refiners down, you'll get that carbon back too. So, but I see. I need to try to find something to. Let me see if I can find something that I want to duplicate. What do I need? Uh, not a whole lot, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, maybe. I got my living freighter, so I don't really need that. Um, 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 um. Okay, let's do this. What do I want? I need some explosive drones. So we'll put that over in here. So we'll come in here. And this is just to show you that you can duplicate anything in either of these refiners. Either one. Okay. So got my explosive drone in there. Same thing. Build menu, select, and move. Now this one, I'll just show you. These can be a little more tricky, but you can carry three of these around with you, and anywhere you go, you can... Duplicate. So, see, so yeah, line these up. Okay, we'll get out of this. So we check it. All right, it's over in that one. It's over in that one. Okay, so now we got our middle one. And come in here. And we pop a couple of them out. So even as a bad how you do, you just keep going back and forth. Now, with this one, let me get off so it things not, you know, had the words in there. Oh, for these, you need to the little orange blocks on there you want semi lined up it's kind of how you want them lined up that little bar you kind of want the legs about even and about something along those lines okay the the portal refiners Actually, they give you a little bit more leeway than the um, than the medium refiners. You know, you can play with this a little bit. If you don't have them lined up exactly, you can still get it to work. You know, the medium refiners, you got to, you know, they got to be damn close to perfect to get them. I'll show you in a second though. But see, you can just keep pulling these things out. Right? So, when you get done with your one, two in here, you can pop these out. But it's sitting there telling you that. It's like, oh, you didn't get no carbon out of that. No, I don't need no carbon. We're good. So, I just like moving them around here so I can get a quick access. Don't take up inventory. But if you notice, that those yellow guards are covering that that metal cylinder that little cone there a little bit more than it did the first time that I did it okay but that is about how we do it I need to stop here we go I'm back Wonderful. All right. So, make a save. So now, 
I could still go back in the Arizona Nanites. So if you got stuff you got to do, you're trying to refine things, you're trying to do stuff, you know, you can get these. So, but if I let me teleport, let me go. Let's go to my other base. Doesn't matter. You go to a space station, go to another base. Do a little experiment here, guys. Didn't mean for it to take that long. This is my hell base. So when you have to go so many U's in a forbidden planet, this is the one you want in my cool little living ship that I just got. Might do some more living ship videos. But now, let's go back and let's take this back to the base. All right. Oh, and it landed me inside. Usually it lands me underneath of it. That's funny. Okay, so. Yeah, I like the fire storm. So we come back here to refiner. Yep, nope. You leave your base, it's gone. So, there's the experiment. I don't know if I could say that it succeeded or failed. We succeeded in making it go away. Uh, we also failed because it is not there. <laughs> so, all right, just to let you all know, Duplications do still work. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to reach out to y'all and make sure that, you know, everybody gets this stuff working the way they want it to. I want to help everybody out in the game they want. Some people may think that it's, you know, why do it in the game, early in the game. It's, you know, helps you get a leg up. So, there you go. I guess it's your own, um ethical quandary that you have to worry about but in the meantime everybody have a great time have a great day um glad to be back hopefully i'll be able to get some more stuff out if you like what you see hit that like and subscribe button and i will talk to you soon thanks